Hi everyone, Lisa Valentine here, Design Team Coordinator for Swirly Do's Kit Club. You can find us at www.swirlydoos.com and I would like to introduce you to our gorgeous November kit. Let's take a look and see what we have inside of our main kit. Chrissy has added in for us this beautiful teal zircon uh, silk acrylic glaze. And if you haven't yet had a chance to use paints or glazes or any other type of, of medium other than paper uh, to your pages, then you should really try because this just adds such a beautiful dimension. Oh, look at my favorite little beautiful little things. I love laces and trims. Um, beautiful taupe colors here. Um, gorgeous little flowers and rosettes here in the center beautiful we also have some prima say it in crystals uh, i love using these for flower centers or to maybe embellish the corner of a photo uh, these are very nice we have some loose petaloo flowers in here uh, these are so much fun, and what makes these petal flowers really nice is that they're all a tad bit different, so uh, you can add um, a little bit of variation to your flowers on your pages. Chrissy has also put in a couple of little stick pins. Uh, we have some design team members that make beautiful stick pins, and uh, I, I try. <laughs> um, but these, uh, you can just add into your, uh, your, your flower clusters or um, to help maybe hold up some of your, your laces and trims. Uh, these are really very useful and uh, help you think outside of the box. We also have some Prima Clear stamps, and uh, this appears to be the Craftsman set. Um, I love using stamps on my pages, so you can add some embossing powders. Uh, you can add um, different colors to your stamps. These are a really nice thing to have. We also have some Prima decorative wood embellishments. Uh, we're looking at some clock faces and some tickets. Uh, these are just so vintage looking and, um, and I tend to hoard these, but don't tell anybody. Oh, rub-ons. Oh my goodness. Um, I really like rub-ons for a number of reasons, but rub-ons can be used in so many different ways and on so many different surfaces. These go great on canvases as well. Oh, we have some lovely dusty attic. This is such a nice piece. Pop out the little center here, put a picture in the middle, paint this, um, use embossing powder on it um, for like, you know, like a, a pewter, make it look like a piece of tarnished metal. So many things can be done with this. And now we have this paper and I have to tell you that our Swirly Do subscribers, otherwise known as Savages, have requested that I spend a little bit more time on the paper. Um, something to be said about our girls in paper. Uh, somebody could get hurt uh, if you get in the way of a Swirly Do Savage and her paper. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We have this beautiful die cut here, and it is from Kaisercraft. It is from the Kaisercraft Periwinkle Collection. Beautiful in peaches and uh, dark taupes and some gorgeous blues. Lisa Gregory is no doubt dying right now because she loves peach. Um, we also have, oh, these are so much fun. Look at these. Go ahead and fussy cut these out. Beautiful frames and corner pieces. Oh my, so many fun things to be had here. Uh, this is also from the Kaiser Craft uh, Periwinkle Collection. The centers here don't pop out, ladies, so it looks like you could either cut them out or you would just go have to, uh, you know, maybe add little things to the center. You know, some stencils with some molding paste or oh wait a minute some of the stamps that came in the kit um, just a couple of ideas for you um, again beautiful beautiful um, peach colors I really don't know how to describe this it's not like a, a pastel peach um, but it is just a really pretty peach and ooh, look at look at here again we're looking at Kaiser Craft periwinkle collection beautiful blue on this with some you know kind of worn tattered edges a little bit where the color somewhat blends oh this is so pretty and I'm a fool for script um, and this is all script so how pretty is that uh, again continuing with our Kaiser craft oh and another thing to show you here ladies is look at this bottom edge here I love now how the paper companies are starting to actually embellish this edge so you can use it I love using these little things to make some paper ruffles on my pages um, and this all has wording on it so it's perfect you can cut it and you know trim it down use it however you need it to add to your titles 
This is a, a really pretty blue with, with a brown polka dot. And on this side, oh, it's a fussy cutter's dream. I'm sure Heidi Kelly is looking at this and can probably see about 40 different things you can do with this. Uh, here is another, oh, pretty, pretty page. Looks like somebody took a lot of distress inks and went crazy with water and beautiful blending on this. Again, we're looking at blues and browns and peaches. Very nice here on this side with a little medallion edge. These are great also to kind of fussy cut out in different shapes uh, to add borders around your pictures or borders around your layers. Very nice color here. Wow, this is like a, a deep, deep, I don't even know if I'd call this peach, but it's gorgeous. Um, and once again, take a look at the edge here on this paper. How nice is that? And oh, look at the little feathers. How cute. There's a second side to that. Love this dark paper. This is beautiful for bases or to help edge out your photos, make them stick out just a little bit. Almost the exact same thing here. See, we have little birdies here, little birdies here. This is very nice paper. Oh, and look at all of, boy, again, little fussy cutter's dream here. Lots of dimension to add to your pages. Go ahead and use some 3D glue stickers and um, really make these pop right off of your page. Oh, <laughs> this is so up my alley. It's not even funny. Um, look at how pretty this is. Oh my God. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like somebody went nuts with some glazes and paints and then took scrunched up paper and kind of put it down and pulled off some in places. And this is just vintage at its best. I love it. Love it. Love it. And this is from Creative Imaginations. Um, and I'm trying to see what this is um, from which line. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Like, holy mackerel. This is from their navigation line. And again, from Creative Imaginations, look at these great postcards. These make great cards in general. You can use these to pop right on the front of your cards or again, use them in layering on your pages. Oh, look at that. Oh, enough said. And ooh, look at this. Wow. What? This is so pretty. Such muted, romantic colors. This is beautiful. And the backside with a really nice stripe. Now, if you're anything like I am, Chrissy also offers a pattern paper add on where you can go ahead and get an additional pattern paper, which, of course, I do. Um, and in her uh, cardstock add on, all of the cardstock is obviously you can tell just by looking at this that it's perfectly matched to your pattern papers and you're getting two sheets of each color uh, these are great for making your own handmade flowers adding you know a nice kind of uh, grounded base to what might otherwise be a, a pretty busily patterned page um, and so you got two four six eight 12 pieces of 12 by 12 gorgeous cardstock, and this is uh, all by Kaisercraft. Uh, really, really pretty. So um, then the next add-on I wanted to show you is our um, embellishment add-on. Holy mackerel, you're seeing this as I am for the first time. Um, we have some shabby chic Prima resin pieces. I love these photo corners. Ooh, Ooh look at this. Heidi Swap Georgia Peach. Oh, Mist. Oh my goodness. My head's starting to roll. We have some Kaiser Craft wooden um, flourishes uh, to match our uh, Creative Imaginations paper. Oh, journal tickets. Oh my, look at this. I love all these little tiny pieces here from Creative Imaginations. I love buying little sticker packets and everything else um, that looks like this because you can really have a good time and just add, again, you know, we're talking about layering and that's really what this brings to your page. Look at the light bulbs. Oh my. I'd put this over my head because I've got tons of ideas, but that would be kind of corny, wouldn't it? Um, oh, Petaloo here. These are peel and stick flowers. And what's so much fun about these is, boy, can you, there is so much to be done with these flowers. You can add flowers to the center. You can scrunch them up um, using some fabric tack with them. And you can make your own gorgeous handmade flowers using these great Petaloo bases. And then we have some pink paisley uh, mistable pieces. And if you've never used these before, what you've really got is, is a clear resist in a pattern. I don't know if you can see this. Probably not. Probably making you guys blind. Um, but anyway, when you mist or you, you spray over this, it, the, the paint won't stick 
to the um, to the clear uh, design. It'll only stick to the paper, and everything else will come out white-ish. Um, but it, it again, it gives you a lot of room to be creative, kind of bring your own style to this piece of um, of uh, embellishment here. Uh, we also have our flower add-on. So if what comes in the kit isn't enough and you don't want to make your own, Chrissy does coordinate flowers to the kits. And uh, here we have um, Donna Downey Studios, part of Prima. Beautiful Kaiser Craft. Webster's Pages, how pretty are those? And some Maya Road, beautiful scrunchy flowers. And then finally, we have our Bling Me Baby. Uh, which is a relatively new add-on. Chrissy's been doing for a few months now, and um, I love it. I got me some perfect liquid pearls. Um, I seriously cannot get enough of these. I use them all the time. We have some Tim Holtz ideology pieces. Again, great for flowers or flower centers or just to add on some uh, a spot to maybe hang some chains off of. Really nice. Uh, graphic 45 keys. These keys are beautiful. They're very detailed, uh, filigree type, um, gorgeous, and they're 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 pretty well flat. So you're not looking at a seriously chunky piece of key here. We have some more uh, Prima. Say it in crystals. A really nice blingy sort of border, and we have some Kaisercraft rhinestones um, in uh, just all these different lengths. So there you have it. There is our November kit for 2012. Again, you can find us at www.swirlydews.com. Uh, look at the links over to the left-hand side on our homepage, and you can find out about how you can sign up and get you one of these, too. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great day.